first let's hear it for all these volunteers and for our sponsors and Jack Daniels in particular. I always want to know if you can tell the difference between a mac rib sandwich and real barbecue. Please stand if you're able, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. Just don't step in a shot. We're fine. I do solemnly swear. I'm trying to get a picture for his induction. To objectively and subjectively evaluate each barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes. My nose, my, nose, my, hands, my hands, and my palate. And my palate. I, accept my duty I accept my duty to be a 2016 Kansas City Barbecue Society sanctioned 28th Annual Jack Daniels World Champion Invitational Barbecue Judge. So that truth, so truth. <laughs> justice, justice, excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. You're on your own. All right, I'm Henry Rothenberg. I'm a meteorologist with News Channel 5 in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, this is my first Jack competition. Just got my... I am. I am the sacrificial lamb today. Um, can't beat this. I, I feel like I've just set the standard way too high for myself to start at the Jack. Uh, of course, doing the salsas right now, which it, it's just amazing to see how great anything can taste when you put Jack Daniels into it. But um, born and raised in Memphis, so love barbecue and love the, the opportunity to be here and with some of these great folks today. My name's Michael McDermott. I'm the director of the Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour. And uh, I might have had a favorite sauce. It was good all the way around, excellent cooks. But Can you tell which one it was? I, I don't know. May, <laughs> maybe somewhere in here. I'm just saying. <clears throat> I'm Matthew Mangold. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee, and I've judged the Jack before, and the uh, sauce category was excellent. I uh, really enjoyed each one of them. Hi, I'm Gene Dovan. I'm from uh, Corpus Christi, Republic of Texas. And I'm here judging uh, for the fourth time. And uh, the sauces we had are really quite diverse. Uh, some are a little thinner than others, uh, some a little spicier than others, but quite a nice variety. And of course, here at the Jack Daniels, it's all world class. Really tough to judge. They are all hang right in there. However, one did stand out for me, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Matthew Hogan from Newcastle, Australia. Um, this will be the sixth time I've turned up for this one. Um, and if you've got to go somewhere to judge, this is probably it. Um, anyway, we'll catch up with you later. My name is Bev Crossan from Tupelo, Mississippi. I um, organized the Tupelo Barbecue Duel, and this is my one of my favorite contests to judge. Awesome sauces, some have a little kick to it, all delicious. Thank you. When is your contest next year? Um, third week in March. Come see us. What do you do? Gewoon hier and leggen we chips in. Die is weg. Zal ik kaas doen? Kaas. Ui en Ik zou die lepeltjes zo uh, erin leggen om een uh, leuk patroontje of zo. Ja, maar die kan ook op de 
Nee, we kunnen dit ook zo. Chippy zet we erachter. We hadden ook al wat gedacht dat we als extraatje gewoon een. Uh, maar dat kan ook zo. Dat maakt nu niet zo goed. Trump is not judging, it's not fun. I want to look local and not foreign. Paul Gagliano, Memphis, Tennessee, Southern Hot Wing Festival. Uh, enjoyed, looked like it was a uh, barbecue slider. Outstanding. Very good, very uh, flavorful. The second, the second uh, dish, I'm not sure what it was, but it was, it was interesting, interesting flavors. Flavors were all over there. And the third uh, looks like a basic uh, uh, hors d'oeuvre, uh, barbecue, slaw, toast, very good. The second one was like a pate choux. I apologize. I'm Chef Mike Osborne from here in Middle Tennessee. Glad to be back here at the Jack. The second one was a cream puff that was stuffed with a mushroom, bacon, and sausage duxelle. And the cream puff just didn't bake up quite right. The butter broke out of it. But the gooseberry currant sauce was really nice. The beef bourguignon on the toast point for number three was excellent. All in all, this is going to be a great day. Thanks. Hmm? Yeah, so you are, where, what you just ate, where you came from? Uh, my name is Hendrik, I'm uh, coming from uh, Denmark, Kuming. So uh, I uh, very enjoyed to be here for the first time in the Czech. What you ate? There was some, uh, it's uh, good, good and uh, bad, but uh, uh, it's acceptable. So, thank you very much. Mark, it's good to see you again, my friend. I'm Ron Childers from uh, Memphis, Tennessee, 11th year back here at the Jack, and I'm not sure what I had in one of those entries. I, I got to be honest with you. Um, we had a, a slider on the, the first round. Um, there was really nothing spectacular about it, you know? I, was, I, I think I was looking for something a little more. The, uh, the second one was an interesting combination of, of some sort of pastry or a dough stuffed with bacon, mushrooms, butter, and then it was covered with cranberries. <laughs> I, again, I'm not sure. And then the next, and then I had another that was uh, a, um, it was a piece of toast with some slaw and beef tips in in a brown sauce. Um, it was interesting. I'm going to say that, Mark. I'm going to say that. All right. It, it, it was interesting. I'm ready to move on to the next course. <laughs> I really can't say anything about what that was, really, because I have no idea what it was. But that's what I want to hear. Then. Really, I, I, I don't know what it was. What was it? I don't know. I, I the mean, slider. Okay, know. so so there was a slider, and it was at least it was tender. What was it? Was tender, but what was the meat? It was some sort of a beefy with maybe some 
lamb maybe in there. Might have had a little touch of lamb. Maybe. And I'm not sure what the sauce was on it, but they just put them in the box. Listen, I, as a competitor normally, I appreciate the effort of putting that there. But as a competitor also, you are at the Jack Daniels World. Stukje with vlees Zo, daar boven. Recht leggen. Recht leggen. Ja. En om dit stuk gewoon alleen maar plakjes. Boos, dat gaat vast. Ja, hoor. Als de U of University. Uh, wil je schoon? 1, 2, 7. Deze 7. Ja. Rustig, we hebben alle kanten. Hebben we een 7 zo toch? Kijk eens of ze los zijn allemaal. Ja, zelfs. Ja, dat hebben we, ja. Ze hoeven niet ja. los te zijn. Die hoeven geen zeven te zijn. Als er maar één stukje white meat in is, is het genoeg. One piece of meat. One. Chef Michael with Certified Angus Beef. We're here at the Jack, the one and only World Championships of Barbecue. And uh, I just had chicken. And uh, I actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> Uh, corporate chef for Certified Angus Beef, so I eat a lot of beef. Um, this is my first time Jack appearance, first time judging the Jack appearance. So actually I've been training my whole life for it, but here we are. Uh, I'm Dan Holt, I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee, uh, 15 miles down the road. First time here at Jack Daniels Barbecue Contest as a judge and just got through eating some of the best chicken I've ever had in my life. I, I knew it would have to be a, a high quality food here and, and they've certainly lived up to it. Hey, I'm Allison Abbey from Parade Magazine. I have been eating barbecue my whole life, but this is my first time judging, and this is the best chicken I have ever had, hands down. I never will look at a chicken thigh the same way again. Hello, I'm Brent Dykes, uh, representing Honda Generators. We're one of the sponsors again this year, and so glad to be here. Uh, just had some of the best chicken ever. Um, at the We're at the Jack. You're not going to get anything bad. So. Uh, some uh, flavor profiles a little different. One had some heat to it, which I really did like. Um, but overall, some really, really good chicken. Glad to be here. Howdy, I'm Mark Dolan with uh, BBQPilgrim.com. And uh, here at the Jack, just uh, got done with the chicken. And as always here, a lot of good offerings and uh, looking forward to the rest of the judging. Hi, uh, my name is Richard Westhaver. I'm from Norwell, Mass. This is my first time judging the Jack Daniels. I'm a master judge, maker of Dirty Dick's Hot Sauce. And uh, such a privilege to be here, and my first entry was excellent. Uh, Dennis Cavan from Gallatin, Tennessee, and we judged ribs just now. I thought the um, two of the ribs were extremely dry, very tough. The number four rib was probably uh, the most tender, had the best taste, and was clearly the best box presentation. How's it going? Uh, Gio from New York. We tried uh, some ribs here, judging today. I thought that, um, similar to Dennis, two of them were a little dry and tough, 
but I think there was one, number four, which was extremely savory, the texture was great, and it was just an all-around great rib. Bill Dietz, uh, Arkansas. Uh, profiles uh, on a lot of these ribs were really good. Um, so I had uh, one, a couple here, dry ribs. Uh, one was a little dry and salty, but the, the, no, the last one we did have uh, was uh, really tender and had a really good dry rub to it. Um, from a presentation standpoint, I think uh, number four definitely uh, hit the mark on it. So that's it. Jimmy Baird from uh, Uniontown, Kentucky. Uh, ribs were good. Uh, out of the six ribs, uh, four and five were the best of my pick. Uh, five, four and five were awful tender, best flavor. Presentation was good. Uh, dry rub, the rib for me was uh, number six was a little uh, dry and tough. Uh, over presentation, the whole thing good. Well, hi, I'm John Brody from Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, my impression of the rib today there's a distinct difference in the, uh, the talent of the chefs prepping these ribs. Uh, it actually made judging them quite easy. Uh, unlike some of the other categories, which are really, really close in, uh, in the quality of the product, there's a few on this, this tray that uh, just don't cut the mustard. That's your medical opinion? That's your medical opinion, yeah. Hey, Mark, Melinda Kiefer, um, Cookville, Tennessee. Um, I tell you what, it, every single bone that was put on this plate was absolutely gorgeous, but it takes just about one quick bite to realize the difference. Um, a couple of them were really tough and, and didn't have the tenderness. It's hard to keep a rib juicy, we know, for that long. Um, there were a couple on here, four and five, I agree, I think our table consensus really um, hit the mark on flavor, on texture, um, and on taste. So, so far so good. It's been a great rib day here at the Jack. Hi, this is uh, Lieutenant Colonel John McMahon, and I'm at this wonderful barbecue contest and uh, having a really great time. I look forward to uh, the rest of it. What'd you eat? Well, today so far I've had uh, chicken, and I've had pork, and I've had pork ribs, and they're really good. Very impressed. Best I've ever had in my life. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Mike Mills from Murfreesboro. How many times have you been here on both sides? Um, well, I've been here uh, four times on the uh, other side of the table, and this time on this side of the table, uh, I don't know, 20, I, 18, 19, 20, I haven't kept track. So you might but I really. About barbecue, is that what you're saying? I, I don't know. I hope I do. I mean, I'm, I'm still practicing. I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm going to get it one of these days. Establish here. One of these days, I'm going to get it. All right. But well, I just I'm had some. Just had some great pork here. That that one right there, I have no idea whose it was. It was awesome. <laughs> but at the same time, these other ones were really good too. It's, good to, it's always great to be here at the Jack. All right. 
Hi, I'm Clint Cantwell from Grillocracy.com here at the Jack Daniels, and we just judged the pork butt category, which was amazing. And I'm just here soaking up barbecue knowledge from Mike Mills and Paul Kirk at my table. Thanks. I'm I'm Danny Evans from Perry, Georgia, with Barbecue Times and Big D's Firehouse Smokers. I'm here just enjoying the day and some great barbecue and good fellowship with all these people who have been in barbecue for years. Hi, I'm Danny Lamb from Tullahoma, Tennessee. Uh, I work here at Jack Daniel, and this is my sixth year judging the Jack. And I, we've just finished up ribs and pork, and uh, everything was excellent, and looking forward to brisket. Johnny Trigg of the Smoking Triggers Cooking Team. We just finished and judged the uh, brisket. Where? At Jack Daniels World Championship in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Which was your favorite? I had three good ones. Gave, he got all nines. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was a perfectly cooked brisket, texture, tenderness, taste. It was, it was fabulous. I'd take them any day of the week. Let's get back. Yeah, Pat Burke, we're in Jack Daniels. Uh, had some good barbecue here today. Uh, had some bad barbecue, but overall it was, it was great. Uh, had a fine day. Hi. Oh, you're up. Who you are, where we are, what's your name? Uh, Michael Wozniak, uh, judging here at the Jack for the first time, and we just got done with brisket. I had some really good brisket, and I had, uh, you know, one that was not quite so good. That's the one you're trying to get me to eat. That's the one. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Robert Reeves said, judging at the Jack for my 24th time. And I've run the gamut. I got to tell you, some of this was really good. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'm Ray Lampy. I'm one of the younger judges at the table here. <laughs> A couple of these, I really noticed something interesting this time, really dark in color. I, I, I'm sure it's some new trend that I'm not familiar with, but they were really dark in color. It was a turnoff to me. Um, this one reminded me of the early days of using the injections, and they, man, they, they used a little too much for my taste. It was obvious as could be, but... Um, it was a mixed bag. I, I, I like it better. Sometimes all the stuff is exactly the same, and that disappoints me. There was a mixed bag of stuff here. Not necessarily great, but definitely unique. And we have a new judge here. This is his first time. A virgin judge. And my name is Josh Burris, and I'm judging at the Jack, and I am the youngest one at the table. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my first time. This is my first time judging at the Jack, and I'm just really happy to be here. Um, and I and I love all of the barbecue and. Like you said, there was a kind of a range of, of taste and, and moisture and stuff, but uh, I'm, just, I'm just happy to be here. This is, this is great. Years ago by our friend Carolyn and Gary Wells. And we are going to present our 28th Annual Jack Daniels World Championship Invitational Barbecue Award. The pioneer of barbecue goes out to Mr. Johnny Trigg. Johnny! Johnny, congratulations. Carolyn, do you have a couple of words you would like to say? I would. I'd like the other recipients to come forward and congratulate Johnny. Um, and I know he need, no, needs no introduction, but for those of you who have not had the privilege of knowing 
He's the godfather of ribs. He uh, went to Kamuk, Kuwait and fed the troops. And he was a star on Pitmasters. So Paul Kirk, uh, Melinda Kiefer for Tony Stone. Uh, no one for Bob Lyon here, sorry. Um, Mike Mills, Pat Burke, Artie Davis, Jim Tabb, and Don McLemore. Please come welcome Johnny Trigg, Pioneer. Wow. And by the way, for those of you who didn't know, Johnny has also won this very competition, not once, but twice. Barbecue royalty indeed. All right, Johnny, do you feel honored? Very honored right here. This is the shock of my life. Now, good, this is, I've won a lot of awards, but this tops everything. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you for everything you've done for the barbecue community. Johnny, you and each and every one of you. A few years, and um, Rocky, you were telling me earlier that you think this particular award was started to sort of commemorate well, you started it to commemorate old-timers, and now you and I are old-timers. I are an old-timer. <laughs> it's uh, Miss Candy Weaver in the crowd. Yeah, I Candy. bet she is. Candy Weaver, Barbecuer's Delight, where are you? the Judge's Choice Award. Candy Weaver is recognized as a goodwill ambassador of barbecue whose unselfish, dedicated service has helped to preserve and advance the excellence of barbecue into this new century, the year 2016. Candy Weaver. Um, for me, it's really, I'm, I'm just so very grateful for my volunteers and all of, it, this event would not happen. It's run on volunteer power. And I'm so very thankful to each and every one of you that take your time away from work and your families and come out. And some of you spend a whole week with me to help make this event happen for all the teams. And so this is the least I can do to show how grateful I am. And I mean, just to give you an idea, if, you're, if you volunteer for this event, would you stand up for just a moment if you can? helping um, ever since um, 2009 and uh, helped one year uh, simply because I was on maternity leave and by coincidence really what caused that by the way <laughs> oh, okay. we, won't, we won't get into that all right <laughs> but he, he decided to come back after that and I was we knew each other from from way back in the day and um, I was like what are you doing here he's like oh I'm, I'm I was here helping last year when you were gone. I was like, oh, well, you're going to stay and help now. That's wonderful. I like this. So he has been helping consistently after that. And uh, really and truly, all of you that get your goodie bags, and, and you never see this, you get them and you never realize that he's behind the scenes. He's here. He spends a week here. They're stuffed with love. He always has a smile on his face. Anything I say, he never tells me no. <laughs> so you can't hardly beat that, but... And if you haven't figured it out now, that individual is... Jimmy Mills. 
Jimmy, congratulations. Well, thank you, sir. And I'm not a volunteer. I'm family. I come out here to host the biggest family reunion in the South. But I do appreciate this. And I love Debbie to death. $1,000 going down to Lakeland, Florida for Sweet Smoke Q. Sweet Smoke Q. Hey, Chris, you know that hernia surgery you were putting off for a while? Going to need what? Oh, wow. Hey, Jimmy, is Volunteer of the Year. Can you come? Um, no, just, just kidding. Sweet Smoke Q, congratulations for winning the 2016 I Know Jack About Grilling. seeing how our second place winner was also wearing a Smithfield logo on the shirt, right? I sure did. Yes, I did. All right, we're going to see if this next one does. Are you ready to determine who takes home not one, but $2,000 and a whole lot of other magnificent gift ideas as the first place winner in court? All right. From Scottsdale, Arizona, we have Steel Booty Barbecue. Steel Booty Barbecue. Where are you? Stone! 